Hey guys, it's your Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a little tip here on how to find your Android device. Now, keep in mind, this is not a new feature for Android devices. This is the same application called Device Manager, but this week we have the Google I.O. going on and Google decided to rename the application to Find My Device. All you got to do if you never downloaded it before, download it on the Google Play Store by that name, Find My Device. That's it. Um, if you're new to Android, this is for you. You should know this. And if you never lost, if you just lost your phone and you don't know, you know, you want to try to find it or at least erase it or lock it, uh, this is a good way to video to show you guys how to do it. Now, keep in mind how it works is that you have to download this application and let's say you want to find a certain phone and that phone has a certain Gmail account. You All you got to do is sign in as guest or just log in on whatever phone and enter your email and password for the phone that you lost. And that way you can find the phone just like that. But right now I'm going to go ahead and sign in, continue as Mark, right? And I'm going to log in to my account. Okay. So I just entered my password. And once you log into your account, if you have a whole bunch of devices, um, log in or using the same Gmail account, you're going to see it right here. Now I don't remember if it used to look like this before, but right now, for example, I got my Samsung Galaxy S8. I got my Alcatel Pop 4, which my daughter has in. It's just, it's on my name. And I got this phone, which is a cheap phone that I'm trying out. And look at this. Even my smartwatch is actually um, being tracked using this application because I'm using the same Gmail account. So like you see there, I can actually track even my smartwatch as well. I'm um, here. You got another phone, the Galaxy Note 5, and like you see there, it's right there. So let's show you guys how it works. Like for example, right here, I have selected my phone right there, and it says right here, it's in my hand. The It shows you the battery life that the phone actually has, and it shows you the network it's actually connected to. Um, over here, let's see, over here, if I do this, it will also... It will also identify the phone, the location, the battery percentage of the phone, and also the network is connected to. That's pretty damn cool that you can actually see that using this application. Now, another thing I want to let you know is that this phone is not unlocked. Of course, let's pretend this phone is actually lost and we want to find this device, right? We click right there right we chose the device we can see the location right here we can zoom in you can see how far from you um your phone is right that and uh, right here i could go ahead and play a sound you see there it plays a sound right there there you go that way if your phone is somewhere around your house or in a restaurant and you have it left you can actually find your phone using the sound of it right another thing you could do is since this phone holy crap you're like holy crap my phone ha doesn't have a code let me go ahead and put a password just in case you know somebody finds it right before i do so let's go ahead and put like uh one two three four right and one two three four and lock Nope, it has, to, it has to be six letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is just for the video purposes, okay? <laughs> six, and there you go. Lock requested. Now, if I try to unlock it or somebody else tries to unlock it, they're going to have to enter the password. That's cool. Another thing you could do here is click right there again and send a message to the phone. So that way it could show up here in the lock screen. I'll be like, that's my phone right there. Okay, so now, look, you see there, you got a message right there that says, that's my phone. That's pretty damn cool. Now, I can also send, like, a phone number, 915, there you go. <laughs> Click right there, and they, okay, just going to clear this up. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Like you see there, now it gives me the option to tap that person. Whoever finds it can actually tap and call that phone number right there on the screen. Now, that's awesome, too. That's another thing you can actually do there. 
and let's see what else you can do here you can also erase the phone if you give up on looking for it you can't find it and you want to erase it uh, just as soon as it actually gets connected to the network you can actually click right here and erase the device right there i'm not going to do it now but you can actually do it and it will completely delete everything on the phone so that's it that's how you do it another cool thing i want to share with you guys here is that you can actually rename the devices uh, right here it says samsung galaxy s8 i want to rename it and put um my gs okay gs8 plus my gsa plus rename it and now my phone is renamed my gsa plus um and that's it that's basically it uh, very simple to use like i said if you lost your device and you want to uh log into on somebody's phone to to search for your device keep in mind all you got to do is enter your gmail that you know that you have on your phone and that's it and for example this phone right now oops go ahead let's go ahead and unlock this i'm not gonna be calling i'm not gonna be calling let's go ahead and unlock what was it one two three four five six right there you go now I'm, this phone has a password now one thing to keep in mind this application find my device is not actually installed on this phone it's not it's not actually installed on this phone and i'm still being able to track it and it's because of the gmail address it's because of the gmail address so guys that's it i just want to share this short video with you guys just in case you didn't know now you know and just in case you're trying to look for the application on the play store and you can't find it because you're searching for device manager instead of find my device or find my phone so like i said the phone or the application is actually called let's go and search it right here Dun, 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 dun. find there you go dun, dun, dun. and it should be right there see there find my device by google so try to use that one instead and like you see there it says what's new new name redesign app battery and wi-fi status is new so that feature right there that i showed you guys where you can see the battery life and you can see the the network it's actually connected to that it's a new update for this application so guys that's it for this video thanks for watching till next time